What's up guys? Welcome back to the Next Level channel. Happy Monday. You've seen it, we've launched it, it's out. And today we're gonna talk about some snow check options. And I've gotten a chance to ride a lot of these sleds. So today we're gonna talk about my favorites. Let's get into it. All right, so in front of us right now is a 2022 Polaris Chaos 155 Patriot Boost. Talk about a wild ride, you guys. So right away, right? Totally different chassis, the Matrix chassis. Every year, we continue to fall in love with these chassis that Polaris engineers build, and we keep saying to ourselves, there's no way they're gonna build a better one. And you've heard me say it before, they did it. They took everything that I really began to trust and really like about the Axis snowmobiles, made some small tweaks here and there. And the reason I say it that way is front end, react suspension, rear end, same skid frame, same track, same track lengths, same react front end, so same widths there. You can see it on a Chaos. We've got the velocity shocks here, both front and rear. But we made some small tweaks to the chassis and man, did it make it better. But the big news, follow me back. This right here, guys, and remember, we're, we're talking about snow check stuff, so a lot of stuff is snow check only. So Patriot Boost, snow check, Matrix Slash, the short tunnel Matrix Slash tunnel, snow check. So there's gonna be a ton of this stuff. Get into your local dealer, get online, start building your next year's whip because I can guarantee you that there is a ton of options that even as I try to explain it, I'm still gonna miss some things. But my favorites are this setup right here. Not only do we have a short tunnel option now, which by the way, the way we're looking at this is the Matrix chassis, right? They are gonna have some in-season tunnels that will look like this, and they are about three inches shorter than an Axis RMK, so as a 155, that tunnel length is about three inches shorter. Matrix, Matrix Slash is five inches shorter than the Matrix chassis, so a short tunnel with the long track, guys, you know, we've talked about this, this instantaneous lift, all the bow ties, the hop overs, all the cool moves you're seeing everybody do. When right now we're modifying our current sleds to get what we're gonna do here as a stock form at snow check. All right, so while we're back here on the back of the sled, and you guys, we are gonna talk about the new seat, the new tank, the new console, heck, all of this stuff new. Just know that we don't have our coolers now running all the way back here. Our cooler actually ends about right here and is still providing awesome adequate cooling for the entire snowmobile. So we finally got that dialed. So this back here, guys, becomes this ultra lightweight, just this piece back here. And what else is really cool about that is snow stiction. We've had these issues in the past and it's awesome that we are making these solves to where the tunnel and the coolers are and we're getting rid of snow adhering to the snowmobile because we've just redesigned this whole back end of the snowmobile, which to me, it's making it lighter, it's making it more efficient, and ultimately, it makes it better. Moving forward on the sled, guys, we get to the seat. Brand new, redesigned seat, redesigned fuel cell, still that 11, 11 and a half gallons, somewhere in there. But the riding position as you stand on the sled, it's very dirt bike feel. You've seen so many of us, including my personal sleds, Chris's personal sleds, where we we're modifying and putting different gas tanks on them, things like that because a little bit of that was quantities, but the other part of that was just the design of the tank and giving us way more of that narrow sort of motocross feel, allowing us to really grip the sled right here at the center of the snowmobile. And this new tank, man, really changed the game here. And then just this tiny seat as a mountain rider, it's kind of there. I want that ability to get around the seat really, really easy, and we have nailed it. Some other things too, guys, for the guys that are critical about distances, and I am, in terms of handlebars, you guys can see we still have the Pro Taper bars shown on this sled. We've got that graphite bar, which you guys know is the six inch bar. So that's the medium, right? The black would be the five inch. And then on this other sled, we've got the seven, which is the sort of the in season bar, unless you ordered otherwise, but that's about a seven inch bar. So the mid bar here, I would certainly want to go with the black, the lower bars, just because I'm a smaller guy. And I love that low center of gravity. But anyway, same bars, slightly different grips and then different redesigned bar hooks on the end, which I truly like. I use these bar hooks all the time. But anyway, this distance from the bar hook down to the running boards, and the running boards are basically the same. And so that's good. I really, 
really kind of begun to trust and like these axis running boards and I like that the steering and the handlebar position is the same from our axis chassis to the matrix. So brand new for 2022 and this is pretty cool. I think that now that the tow loop is adjustable and you'll see that this one is actually set in the high and we can drop this thing down. I don't know if there's that many people that realize how much we actually utilize the tow loops. And so for the bigger footed guy that wanted the tow loops out of the way, they can have that up into that high setting. And then for those that have little feet like myself, maybe dropping that down might make that tow loop a bit more usable. So the fact that these are redesigned, you can see they're cut out, making this whole thing a, a nice lightweight component here. And the fact that it's adjustable, that's pretty sweet. All right, so moving up to the cockpit area. I know we talked about the handlebars. Uh, factory tether. We finally did it, guys. We've got a factory tether right here in the center point of the snowmobile. I've already checked it with most, most of the handlebar bags and accessories here, and the tether right there. Very easy to get to, very easy to get on and off. So that part of it's sweet. The brand new brake. The brake is uh, really, really nice. I really like where the bend is. I think a lot of people are gonna really enjoy the brake, and that's something that you know, all the way through every chassis that we've had, I feel like the brake has always been this thing that people have wanted to see redesigned and we finally did it. Okay, nobody cares about the handlebar, right? It's also the purple. The purple. <laughs> oh, all right, all right. You guys are seeing this right here. There's no longer any waiting. So let's check this thing out. All right, there it is, guys. Patriot Boost. And a Patriot Boosted sled, especially as a 155 Chaos, this thing is the wildest thing on the snow. So. Those of you, as you're thinking about snow checking and you are thinking about a chaos, just know that a 155 matrix slash short tunnel 275 boosted, this is gonna be the most wild ride you've been on. So just be aware of that as you're thinking about what sled to purchase. Talking about the turbos, guys. This whole thing, all right, the way it's mounted, the wastegate, all of the internals, there is so much going on in here that is so far over my pay grade read the website, get a hold of an engineer, what I know, all right? So what I know about this is this snowmobile with the turbo is 10% more power versus the 850 Patriot at sea level. But then check this out. This thing is 50% more power than an 850 Patriot at 10,000 feet. And guess what? It runs on 91 pump fuel. You don't have to change the weights. The belt on the clutch side, you don't have to tension it any longer. I mean, if we're, if we're not checking all the boxes, I don't know what other boxes we need to check. We've got turbos, we've got tethers, we've got self-adjusting set, setup. We have so much going on here. And one more thing that we do need to talk about is the gauge. All right, guys, so still working our way around the snowmobile, but we can't go away from the 7S display. So this thing, guys, big touch screen. I love that you can have a white background, a black background. You can adjust like we've done before with the pit gauge. You can have all kinds of different parameters out there so you can see the temp that you're running, you get your miles per hour, you get your, you get your RPMs. It's a great thing for guys that are tuning, you're out there looking at this thing. And then the other parts of this is ride command and all of the waypoints, having the GPS system. Heck, you can pair your phone with this thing. Like all of the features that go with the 7S system is truly, truly amazing. And whether or not it's for everybody, I don't know. Guys like me, I kind of geek out on some of this technology, so I really like how user-friendly it is. It's a touch screen, but you can also use this little fob over here and make all these adjustments. And it's just really, really cool just to go through the gauge, familiar, familiarize yourself with it. And it's super simple to use, very simple to look at while you're riding. And then inside of that, guys, you pop this open and check it out. You've got a glove box, and it's a spot for water bottles, goggles, glove, you know, the whole nine yards, right? Put that stuff in there and away you go. So the idea that you can track your buddies out there, we've been talking about a way that beyond the two-way radios, beyond the old school, like let's meet back at our last point scene, the idea that we can all be connected and as we're riding sleds like this, we can all stay in contact with each other and see where we are on the mountain. So that type of tracking, that type of technology, I think it's just the beginning, but this is the type of technology that I think it's ultimately gonna keep mountain riders safe. 
So the 850 guys, just an 850 Patriot, just our naturally aspirated snowmobiles. Sky's the limit with these things. The color options are pretty crazy from what I've already seen. Lots of really cool stuff that's out there, the options uh, and things like that. Notice again, guys, the chaos with the velocity shocks. Know that there are a Pro RMK option with those velocity shocks as well, which is very cool going into the season. Um, but available at snow check, um, man, the sky's the limit with the 850s. Remember that the real hold up here with snow check and what they're really trying to hold people to is just those two options of the Patriot Boost, 155 KS or 165 Pro. So the million dollar question, which one are you gonna get? <laughs> so the million dollar question. I, I am a chaos guy, you guys know, that's all I ordered this year um, and was super happy with the platform. We were getting a little mixed up between Chaos versus Pro. You know, I think guys that really ultimately thought that they wanted a Chaos snowmobile, they would have probably liked to have the Pro RMK and just had that more planted feel. I love the fact that it's not planted. I love that these things are wily. They're all over the place. They are super fun to ride. You have to ride them a bit differently, but my style of riding, as it's evolved and it's changing, I feel like the Chaos platform will be where I stay but it remains to be seen. We'll keep riding these things, keep getting more and more familiar with them, and uh, well, you'll have to just see the builds for next year. Well, all in all, guys, we have a lot of cool stuff to talk about. Hopefully, throughout the week, you guys have seen, heard from a number of different riders out there, giving their two cents to, well, their first experiences on the snowmobiles, all kinds of stuff, once again, for snow check getting to your dealer, getting to Polaris.com. Build that dream sled, you guys. I wanna see it this next season. And uh, I hope you liked the video. Leave all the questions, all of that stuff, and I'll try to get to you just as soon as I can. Thanks again, guys, for loving the Next Level channel. We're gonna keep doing it if you're gonna keep watching it. We'll see you next time.